hi, I'm Emily Dunley with the Iowa Child Care Resource and Referral, and welcome to the Children's Connection. With summer winding down, we are getting ready to go back to school. And on today's episodes, we are gonna give you some great safety tips to keep you and your little safe this school season. And we're gonna to talk to our friend, Diane Hoffman. She's a child care nurse consultant from the Black Hawk County Public Health. And she's also gonna go over some great safety tips to keep you healthy this school season. So come on, let's go get ready and let's go back to school. And we're back. Something that we can do this school season to stay safe is to wash our hands. Yes, this daily activity is super simple, but it can keep you safe and healthy this school season. Not only is it nice to get that sticky stuff off your hands at the end of the day, but you're also getting rid of viruses, bacteria, um, dirt and grime not only to keep you healthy and safe, but you're not spreading those germs or anything else to anybody else. So today, let's get sudsed up and let's wash our hands. And now that we're ready to wash our hands, let's get off that dirt and grime and grease for the day. So you'll need a sink, you'll need some soap, and you'll also need some water. And just like the storybooks, you don't want the water too cold or too hot. You want it right nice in the middle so it's nice and warm for you to wash your hands. Next, you're gonna take a little bit of water, wet down your hands, and then you're gonna get a good amount of soap, and then you're just gonna scrub your hands. You're gonna get them nice and lathered up. You're gonna get the tops of your hands in between your fingers like this. You're gonna get the palms of your hands really good, your knuckles. We're not even gonna get underneath that, those fingernails because we know that when we're playing outside, sometimes dirt or bacteria or germs likes to go underneath our fingernails. And I even like to do and go all the way up to my wrist just to make sure that I'm being extra clean. A good rule of thumb is that you should be singing the ABCs while you are washing your hands so that that way you know that you're washing your hands long enough. So let's do it together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Okay, so now we're gonna turn back on our water and we're gonna rinse off this soap. And next, we're just gonna dry off our hands. Also, if you're using a public restroom, you can always wash your hands, take a paper towel, dry, and then use the paper towel to turn off the water. And now that we've washed our hands and are all clean and good to go, let's talk to our friend, Diane Hoffman. She's the child care nurse consultant from the Black Hawk Public County Health Department. And she'll give us more tips and advice on how to stay safe and healthy this school season. Hello, Diane, and welcome to the Children's Kitchen. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Hello, my name is Diane, and I'm a registered nurse, and I am working at the Black Hawk County Health Department as a child care nurse consultant for Black Hawk and Buchanan counties. I work with child care centers and child care homes to identify and resolve health and safety concerns and promote wellness. I provide on-site consultation and conduct assessments and reports using the Healthy Child Care Iowa assessment tools and other evidence-based instruments to assess the current health status, safety, and wellness practices in your business. I link child care programs to community resources that address the physical health, mental health, and social services needs of the program staff, children, and families. 
I also help families with community services, assistance programs, and resources to address their health, safety, and wellness needs. I also work with child care programs and families to implement preventive measures to limit the re and reduce the spread of illness. I help ensure that families and staff understand how to identify signs and symptoms of common childhood illnesses and how to respond when a child or a staff member has been diagnosed with a reportable disease. I help programs manage responses to infectious disease outbreaks. I also work with child care programs to ensure that children with special health care needs and our chronic health care conditions have full, safe inclusion in their program. I connect programs with families and the resources for children with special needs and inform programs about the Americans with Disabilities Act and the sections pertaining to child care. I teach medication administration classes so programs can safely manage medication and uh, medical procedures safely, plus other um, courses throughout the year. I also review child records to make sure that the state regulations such as um, well child exams, immunizations, lead testing, developmental screenings, um, oral health or um, visiting the dentist, um, help find the dentist if need be, uh, work with vision and hearing screenings, and also work with staff in finding compassionate ways to share information about social and emotional and behavioral concerns with the children and or their families. Wow, it sounds like you so. have a pretty important job that keeps us safe and healthy. Do you have any tips, not only for our littles, but maybe for our parents and providers on how to stay healthy this school year? The number one thing would be to get into a routine. Um, now would be a good time to start, especially not only just Monday through Friday, but also on the weekends. Uh, they should have a certain time to start getting ready to um, prepare themselves for bed, to get a good night's sleep, at least eight to nine hours of sleep every night. Um, children need their sleep. They need, uh, their brain needs to process what they have learned through the day. Ooh, it is so important to build those good routines before, and habits before starting the crazy school year. Is there anything else that we need to know about like washing our hands or anything like that? I'm gonna say hand hygiene is the most important way to reduce the spread of infection at home and at school and out about in the community. Many studies have shown that improperly cleansed hands are the primary carriers of our infections. Um, so we want to make sure that the children know the appropriate way to wash their hands. And when um, when do you want to wash your hands? You know, it's just like I say with the teachers and the students, it's upon arriving at school, um, after breaks or when moving from if you're in a child care center from one, whether it be staff or children from one group of child care to another, and before and after preparing your foods or beverages, before you eat, after you eat, handling food, um, or even feeding a child, uh, when you're giving medications or applying uh, medical ointments or creams, um, for example, like if there is a break in the skin and you're putting a Band-Aid on, make sure you do wash your hands afterwards. Um, lots of uh, germs can be encountered that way by touching things. Even if they're playing in water at school, this includes swimming that is used by more than one person. They need to be washing their hands afterwards. So those little play buckets of water that you see them they, yes, indeed. If there's two or three children playing with that, they do need to wash hands afterwards and always after diapering. Um, again, using the toilet or helping a child use a toilet, we need to make sure that our hands are being washed. Any body fluids that you might come in contact with, whether it be mucus, blood, vomit, um, any coughing or sneezing, if you're wiping noses, um, cleaning up sores. If they're outside and you're handling animals or cleaning up on animal waste, again, washing hands. Even when children are playing in the sand or on wooden play sets and they're outside, still need to clean hands. Uh, How do you feel about hand sanitizer? Well, that is a good question. Uh, we recommend it only when there is um, not soap and water that can be easily 
found around, like if you're outside. Um, you have to remember that alcohol-based um, hand sanitizers do have the potential to be toxic to the different amounts of alcohol content um, that they have in them. But just like with anything, we just want to make sure that it is always supervised by an adult. Um, however, there are some common diarrhea causing germs that are not killed. And one of those is a norovirus. No matter what, um, that is not going to help. Um, these germs are uh, very common in childcare settings. And especially with our children that are less than two years of age, they are at the greatest risk of spreading diarrheal um, diseases due to the frequent diaper changing. So we still want you to be washing these little people's hands with soap and water as much as possible. Wow, so it sounds like washing our hands is important for the littles and it's important for providers and parents. Right. Is there anything that we need to be doing as parents or providers to be looking out for our littles? And so we do ask that any caregivers or teachers who smoke off premises before they start work, they should wash their hands before uh, as soon as they get into work and before caring for any children to prevent children from receiving what we call the third hand smoke exposure. And that was um, documented by the Mayo Clinic back in 2010. So there is such a thing as that um, third hand smoke exposure going out there. So again, hand washing, soap and water, your number one defense against any type of illness. Wow, thank you so much, Diane, for this great information. Where can providers and parents find out more information if they have any health questions? Always call me at the Black Hawk County Health Department and my I will give you my um, office number is a regular number for the health department, which is area code 319-291-2413. Or I have a personal cell phone, it's a work cell phone, um, area code 319-415-8905 or they can um, email me, and this is all lowercase letters, D Hoffman, it's a letter D, and then H-O-F-F-M-A-N, the at sign, Blackhawk County, that's all one word, no space, dot Iowa, dot gov. Thank you so much again, Diane, for being with us today. And remember, for more information on how to stay healthy and safe this school season, visit www.iowaccr.org. And remember, together we will go back to school.